Banfield. Where is Banfield? Banfield is a small village on the west coast of Vancouver Island. It is the furthest west you can get in Canada. We arrived on a September day, my mother and I, Mrs. Charity Clark, and her little son Stephen. She was the new school teacher at a new school. The school was called Eric Godson Memorial. It, Eric Godson was the only person in Banfield to lose his life during the Second World War. The school was brand new and the community was very proud of it. We arrived on a ship called the Uchuk One and we'd been supplying supplies and mail to Banfield for a great number of years. Banfield is different from a lot of communities because it's water access. In those days there was no road into Banfield so everything was done by water. We even had a school boat called the Nalda driven by a Mr. Alec McKay. We used to go around in the morning, pick up all the children and bring them to school. My mother's classroom, oh the new school. Banfield school from one to four classroom, one of the first days. It was interesting, Banfield in that time had as I mentioned before, a lot of different industries, from, so children came from all different walks of life, from cable station to fisher folk and storekeepers. What I can remember about the classrooms, there was always lots of artwork on the walls, done by the children and all in the interest of learning. Also, there was lots of beach time too. At least once a week on a Friday afternoon, if the weather was great, we all went down on the beach and played. One of my old memories of Banfield was also at the end of the school year, all the families would get together and have a, a big picnic on the beach. Uh, women would bring all the food, the First Nations ladies would cook all the salmon. It was like a sports day for the kids, all rolled into one with a big feast. Those kind of memories stay with us for a long, long time. It was a lot of fun. The fishing community was huge in those days, and the fishermen were king. We'd all run down to the fish buyers when the boats came in to sell the fish. Over the years, the fish have declined, like everything else. Um, we lost the cable station in the late 50s, and from then on, things are, fishing is going down and down. We have just really the ones, oh, two stores in Banfield now. Um, we still have a post office. But the, the big fish buyers and the, those people have all gone. We had a great machine shop called Ostrom's, which was famous all over the coast for ship repairs, run by the, the Ostrom family, and that's gone now too. So Banfield had been a slow decline. In the middle of the, probably the 60s, we started getting into the sports fishery, and that's been doing pretty well, but it's, again, again, the, the stocks are down, and. It's getting less and less than the cost of fuel. Next to the cable station, which came in 1902, around 1904, the Coast Guard arrived. We had a very disastrous wreck on the West Coast, which made the government set, decide to put in a Coast Guard base here. So it has been a big part of the community for all these years. With the older boats, one of the, this older boat here, up to the new modern 47 footers. Very highly professional, very well trained, and a big part of the community, and relied on very heavily too by the community. Looking back at my memories of Banfield, I'm a very lucky person. I have seen most of the world by water and air, and I still call Banfield my home. <laughs>